In today's video, I'll show you guys seven alternatives to Mid Journey so you guys can generate AI art all for free. I've done a lot of research and done a ton of experimenting with different AI art generators and here are seven of my favorite. Keep in mind, I'm not sponsored by any of these websites and the majority of these websites are completely free with no credit limits. That's probably why you're watching this video right now. Although Mid Journey is a fantastic program, it's unfortunate that it does cost money to pay for credits and if you're like me and you generate AI art every single day, you are going to run out of those credits very fast. Now, before we head over to the computer to show you those seven amazing websites, all I ask is if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you like AI content as I post daily videos on how you can utilize AI in your daily lives. Alrighty, so let's get started. The first one you probably know about as it's very popular and it's second to mid journey in my opinion when it comes to Discord AI art generators. And this is going to be Blue Willow AI, which will be linked down below along with every single other suggestion I have within this video. Now, Blue Willow works identically to Mid Journey. The only difference is that it's completely free and the art generated is maybe not as good as Mid Journey, but it still creates some awesome art. So throughout this entire tutorial, I'm gonna be using the same prompt so that at the end of the video, we can compare all the different generations we have and see which ones you guys like best. Obviously, it's gonna come down to preference, so I don't want to say which one is better than the other i'll let you guys decide so blue willow is very easy to use once you are on the website all you have to do is complete their privacy and a rules form and then you're in on the site you'll see all of these different rookie tabs and this is where you can generate your ai art so i'm just going to choose rookie 79 here we'll scroll down to the bottom and in order to generate art all you have to do is slash imagine and then you type in your prompt so i'm just going to paste in that prompt that we're going to be using throughout throughout this video. I'm gonna hit enter and we're going to wait and see how long this takes. And bam, not long at all. As you guys can see, we have our four different options that are generated here, which is an assassin smoking a cigarette in a cyberpunk style city street at night, Unreal Engine 5, hyper realistic. I'm just gonna go with the one that is closest to my prompt. So I think this bottom left one here, and what you can do is you can get variations within a blue willow. So we're actually gonna do that. It works identically to mid journey. So the one I want to get variations of is this third one right here. So I'm just going to get variations of third and then I'm going to upscale it by selecting the U3 option as well. So here we have our upscaled AI image. Obviously you can see that there's a lot of imperfections. Like it looks like he has like half a sunglass on. The city, although blurred in the back, still has like some funky lines that don't really line up and his hand is quite literally morphed into the gun as well as the phone. So I really like Blue Willow, but I think it's a lot better for generating ideas than actual finished pieces. I specifically asked for a prompt where it's smoking a cigarette because I know this is very hard for AI generators to do. So I think we're going to settle on this first one right here. I'm just going to upscale that and we're going to go to the next program. Now the next program is going to be on Discord again. However, if you're not interested in Discord programs, I'll have all the other ones be on the website. But this Discord program is actually called Now AI. And the reason I like this Discord Discord server is that it's not very active. There's not a lot of people within it. So the generations don't really get flooded, which is always nice. So I'm going to ask the bot to create us our art. And you can do this by using the command slash create and then enter in your prompt. We're going to be using the exact same prompt here. And here we got our designs. And I actually like these a lot better than Blue Willow. I'd say I have to be between these bottom two. I think I'm going to go with the girl one in the bottom right here. So I'm just going to give it another chance like we did with Blue Willow to regenerate. And I'm also gonna upscale that image. So here we got our four new generations. And I really like this art style. I think we're gonna go with this top right one here as it looks the most legitimate to a cigarette in my opinion. So we are going to upscale the second version. And yeah, that is now AI. I'm actually very pleased with the results on this Discord server. And I mean, wow, that is a beautiful render. The only negative I can think of in this photo is that there is a tiny, tiny watermark in the bottom left corner of the screen, as you guys can see there. But other than that, wow, the improvements from the first Discord server is unreal. So we're going to save this image and move on to the next program. Alrighty, the next program I'm going to be using is called openart.ai. What I like about this website is that not only can you generate AI art, but you can actually train models, which is very cool. However, what I don't like about the website is that there is a similar version to Midjourney where you have to pay for X amount of tokens 
tokens. However, the free option of using OpenAI art gives you a ton of tokens. So honestly, I haven't even run out of my tokens and I've been using this website quite some time now. It also has a really nice discover page, which gives you a ton of different ideas of types of art if you wanted to create it. And it gives you the prompts they use to create this art. So let's say I wanted to make a similar picture to this anime photo that was generated. Well, now I can see what prompts they use, the negative prompts they use, the model width, scale, all of that juicy intel. And I don't even have to copy and paste it into my own. You can just select remix and it will bring all of that over into a new window with those settings. But that's not what I want. So I'm just going to go back to create and we're going to input our prompt. I'm just now realizing I was spelt assassin wrong within the two first prompts. So that's embarrassing. But regardless of that, we have our prompt in. I'm not going to do anything to the negative prompts or any of these settings. I'm not going to play around. Actually, I'm going to change this to four images. But other than that, I'm going to keep all the settings the same. However, it is nice that you have all these options to change the dimensions of your photos in openart.ai. I'm also going to four times all of our photos. So they're already upscaled once we generate them. However, this is going to use up more of your credit. So do keep that in mind. You can also change like the seed, add a random seed or not, but we're not going to do any of those settings or maybe adjust the poster size. So let's say you want a vertical poster. Well, you can set the height to a lot higher and this width to lower. So it's nice and vertical. We're not going to be doing that today. That is always an option. Alrighty. So let's hit generate here and see what we get. And just while this is generating fun fact, I actually use this in one of my thumbnails a couple of videos back. So if you notice that shout out to you, but here we have our four images, as you can see, nowhere near as good as the past two inputs, but a lot different of a idea. It appears that this version was going more for the city aspect and less of the assassin. And it almost has like an invisible cloak on the assassin, which is just wild. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go with maybe this photo right here. You also have the option to do image to image with the photo that you generated. So there's a lot of really cool stuff of openart.ai. It just doesn't generate as good as images comparing to the previous programs that we've used. Now, the next program we're going to be using is called Crayon. It's really easy to use and it's completely free unless you want the pro version. So I'm going to input my, so I'm going to input my prompt here and you have the options of selecting a drawing, art, photo, or none. I'm not going to change any of those except for assassin because I keep spelling it wrong and we're going to hit draw. Now, like I said, there is a paid version of this so you can get faster results and it definitely doesn't work as quick as the previous options I've shown. And here we go. We got all of our images generated. A lot of different variations with these photos and I really like some of them like this one right here I think the concept's very cool as well as this one but when you zoom in it's very blurry but you can change this by upscaling so I'm just going to upscale that photo right there once again it is going to take a while this is the big downside of using crayon is that it is very slow to do pretty much anything on the website however it's completely free so I'm not going to complain about that additionally when you enter in one of your prompts it'll actually give you suggestions on how you can maybe make it better within your next prompt. So here it's suggesting we do a hooded assassin cigarette in hand illuminated by pulsing neon signs. I'm not going to try that out, but maybe that would be a better prompt in this situation. Alrighty, so we have our upscaled version of this image. It's honestly kind of blurry. It didn't really get the cigarette. I think that's what it was supposed to be the cigarette right here. And the hand is kind of morphed with, I believe to be a weapon. I have no idea. So overall, not the best generation we've seen so far, but still pretty decent. And once again, most importantly, it is free. Now, another unfortunate thing is that there is a watermark on this website. As you guys can see the crayon in the bottom right, although it's not very intrusive. And if you really wanted to, you could just crop it out. Now I am going to try the photo option just to see if there's any difference. I haven't personally tested this. So this is going to be my first time testing out the photo option on crayon. So let's see if the results vary comparing from art to photo. Maybe it won't be as dull and almost blurry like the last photo was. And wow, okay, I think I like these a lot better. Some of these photos appear to get the actual cigarette in, which I think is cool. So we're actually going to use one of these photos instead of the one I just downloaded. So I'm going to upscale this one and we'll use that for the end of the video. Alrighty, so while this is upscaling, let's go on to our next one, which is going to be Stable Diffusion on Hugging Face. It is with Stable Diffusion 2.1. And although it is Hugging Face and there really isn't many options you can do to generate your image it still is an effective and 
free tool to generate AI art. So let's put in our prompt and generate this image. And it's going to take around 52 seconds, which isn't horrible. However, there's a lot more programs that are way faster. In the meantime, we just got our image from Crayon that we were talking about earlier. And yeah, it doesn't look that good. I thought it was going to look way better already. And here we got our photos from Stability AI Stable Diffusion 2.1. And not horrible, but definitely not good. I just wish there was a lot more variation and settings you could choose to do to these photos. Additionally, it doesn't appear that any of these assassins have a face, although I'm happy it did pick up on the cigarette smoke, but I mean, what is this? Is that supposed to be the cigarette? I don't know how I feel. I feel like this is maybe the best one out of the bunch, even though it doesn't even have a face. So we're just going to download this photo and call it a day. Alrighty, the next thing we're gonna be trying out is Microsoft Designer from the Real Microsoft website, their own take on AI art generation. They do have the option to upload images and create from that, but we're just going to be doing text to image for today. So let's go and generate an image that we want to use. I will say that Microsoft Designer is a lot different program for AI art generation, and there's way more things you can do within this program than just generate art. However, that's what we're going to be using in today's video. And wow, these are actually pretty damn good. I'm surprised. This is my first time using Microsoft Designer, by the way. And I'm incredibly impressed with the photo that it gave us. I mean, damn. Not only does Microsoft Designer generate you the photo, it gives you the options to adjust how it looks. You can adjust the brightness of the photo, the darkness of it, you can add more contrast to it or make it more dull, you can change the temperature so it has kind of a different vibe to it. And wow, I am very pleased with the way this generation came out. There's also this one too, which I think I like this one a lot more, but this one really nailed down the smoking aspect that we were going for. And this one even did a decent job too. So wow, I am I am pleasantly surprised with Microsoft Designer here. And not only does it give you the art, it's all these additional options to make changes to your art within the program. So that's very cool. I'm very pleased with this program. I haven't had much experience with Microsoft Designer, but I definitely got to start using this a lot more. Alrighty, the next AI art generator is going to be a bonus one because I'm not going to show you how to use it. I'm just going to give it as an option for any of my Mac users out there. This is Diffusion B and it works on Mac. There's not a lot of programs that work locally on Mac right now, but Diffusion B is one of them. So definitely go and check that out. I won't give a tutorial on it, but it is a very good program from what I've heard. Alrighty, the last program we're going to be using today is going to be Enterpix. Enterpix is very similar to OpenRT AI, in my opinion, as it has all these options to check out different art other people are creating. And then you can even go and open up the photo to see what prompts they use at what resolution to give you more ideas. So let's head over to generate and we're going to input our prompt that we've been using throughout this video and we're going to select generate. Now you will need an account to use Enterpix, so that is something to note of. Once your account's created, you can start generating your art. I like Enterpix because it's a lot faster faster than other websites that I've tested out on. However, I haven't used the website enough to give my full review on it, but I do want to show you this option as it's completely free. And here we go. It's given us two options here. It's done a decent job. I definitely get the assassin vibe and the city background looks quite well, although I have no idea what this is supposed to be right here. So we're going to run with this photo and download it. Well, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Here is going to be the results I have on the screen of all the different websites I used and what they're able to generate. I think there is definitely one clear winner here. Although you guys might be looking for something different within your AI art generation process. So that might not be the case for you. If you enjoyed this review of seven different programs you can use to make AI art for free, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I post daily AI content covering ways you can use AI in your daily lives to save time and make money. With that being said, it has been Trent from the AI Kingdom. Have you yourselves a fantastic day.